My friend, I do not enjoy reading these scripture verses for this Tuesday in Holy Week. Judas's betrayal of Jesus is far too self-convicting and points a finger of judgment at me. Do you feel some shame and blame every time you are confronted with the story of Judas turning Jesus over for 30 pieces of silver? It is somewhat like the story of Adam and Eve and the original sin story in the Garden of Eden. Adam's sin cast a shadow over all humankind, Judas' betrayal sends suspicion on all of us. I know that I am not responsible for original sin, yet I continue to sin. I fully realize that I did not betray Jesus on Tuesday of Holy Week, yet I betray his trust in me far too often. How do I betray Jesus, you ask, my friend? I confess that I do not always love God, my neighbor, and myself as Jesus commanded us. I fail to give glory and honor to the name of Jesus with my prayers and praise. I am too quick to ask God for the shiny things of this world rather than thank God for the grace of Jesus, my Savior. The Tuesday of Holy Week and the betrayal of Jesus by Judas may just as well be a story about me. The only saving grace in this story is that I know that even though I do not always honor Jesus the way I should, I know that he still forgives me of my sins and loves me with a never-ending love. Perhaps the sequence of the Holy Week narratives is meant to place us in the seat of sin, because we need God's loving grace when we are convicted of sin. Thanks and glory be to Jesus, who will never abandon nor forget me. Never trade the riches of God for the wealth of the world. Then one of the twelve disciples, the one named Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and asked, what will you give me if I betray Jesus to you? They counted out 30 silver coins and gave them to him. Matthew 26 verses 14 to 15. It may seem like any other Tuesday. In a way, it is just another ordinary day. You have an important decision to make, my lovely child. Will you follow me, or will you betray me? One of my beloved children abandoned the blessed Savior for shiny silver coins that rattled and jangled to entice his soul. As Judas reached for a small part of worldly wealth, heaven fell before him. Betrayal can be a silent, subtle action. Any time you choose to honor the trappings of worldly wealth instead of honoring me, you betray me. But I know that will never happen, my lovely. You have chosen to walk in the light of the Spirit. Cling to me with all your heart, mind, and soul. Never leave my side. Some of my children created shiny toys that sparkle and shine with amazing brilliance. Money, gold, silver, and gems glow and glimmer to entice my children to leave what they love and chase after them. Do not blame the physical universe or the world around you for any human shortcomings or sins. I created everything with a blessed divine kiss and called it good. The decision to give up the divine to have the world is far too common among my children. During his holy week, keep yourself free from wanting and needing. Instead, move toward having because you already have me, my child. Thank you for joining us again today, my friend, in the Spirit of God. I do feel better after confessing my thoughts on the betrayal of Jesus by Judas. Perhaps confession is good for the soul because it helps you bring your sins into the open, where you can deal with them more fully. I hope you will remain with us as we journey through this holy week. There are some powerful Bible stories we want to share with you. Please allow me to pray for you, my friend. We confess that we have often been allured away from your holy presence, O oh God. The shiny shimmering worldly things often steal us away from the sacred ground of salvation. Hear our prayer of confession and answer with your love and grace. We do not love our neighbor as Jesus commanded us. We do not always care for ourselves as your living temple. We confess that we fail to honor you far too often. While we often forget you, we will never betray you, O oh Jesus. 
remain closer to us than hands and feet and more a part of us than life itself. Keep us pure and holy during this holy week. When the darkness of sin falls upon us, help us to see the light of salvation. Forgive our sins, renew our faith, and keep us close to your love. In the name of the Savior who was betrayed by us but also died for us, we pray and say, Amen. Remain alert and alive in the Spirit during this week of holiness, my friend. I found that if we are open to God in our lives, we will see some amazing things occur this week. We may forget Jesus this week, but nothing will be closer to us than the Spirit of God. Go in peace and remain open to the movement of the Spirit in your life.